Welcome to the 2015 BLS Guideline Changes. In this video, we will discuss the recent BLS Guideline Changes that were made in 2015 by the American Heart Association, which updates its guideline every five years on the cardiopulmonary resuscitation, or CPR, and emergency cardiovascular care, or ECC. The AHA 2015 guidelines expand on many of the recommendations made in 2010 as it continues to focus on high-quality chest compressions due to the improvement in resuscitation outcomes. The first change is the rate of chest compressions. In 2010, it was at least 100 compressions per minute, and the 2015 update is 100 to 120 compressions per minute. The range of 100 to 120 compressions per minute leads to a decrease in cardiac output due to incomplete cardiac filling during chest recoil. The second change is in the depth of chest compressions. The 2015 update states the target depth for adult compressions to be between 2 to 2.4 inches, which is 5 to 6 centimeters. Research revealed that compressions delivered beyond this depth could result in resuscitation-related injuries. The AHA continues to emphasize training and practice to be important in developing good technique. In real-life resuscitations, rescuers are likely to provide compressions that are too slow, too shallow, and interrupted too often. With frequent refresher training for skills and knowledge, and a detailed feedback on rate and depth of compressions will help develop and upkeep good technique. In 2010, sequence change from airway, breathing, compressions, or ABC, to compressions, airway, breathing, or CAB, remains in the 2015 update. The early initiation of chest compressions resulted in improved outcomes. The ratio of traditional CPR cycles of chest compressions to rescue breaths remain the same in the 2015 update. 30 chest compressions to two rescue breaths for one rescuer CPR in all age groups and for two rescuer CPR in adults, and 15 chest compressions to two rescue breaths for two rescuer CPR in children and infants. The AHA also points out that high quality chest compressions are most valuable in saving a life. The members of the community should know that even if you don't know how to do anything else, doing chest compressions is better than doing nothing at all. Most people should have access to a speakerphone equipped cell phone that they can use to dial 911 or have a bystander call for the rescuer and the EMS dispatchers can instruct the rescuer to do hands-only CPR. For further details on the 2015 guideline changes for BLS, please refer to your full text manual provided with your BLS package. This concludes our lesson on the 2015 BLS guideline changes. Next, we will review One Rescuer BLS and CPR for Adults.